click there to say who's this person and about mm-hmm. yeah, I get about Dent Dent, Dent, Dent Okay, okay, on Dent, you say I'm, I'm here with you because <laughs> you know your type <laughs> I don't know. Literally, literally. I don't know. Is that how you think? I don't know. I don't know. I was very humble. Yeah, was the one. Every detail I've ever prayed for, and on this day, I know I've met my wife. Hello, guys. Welcome Hello. back to my channel. My name is Leratuma Mecha, and I am here with another video for you guys. So, in today's video, I've got my husband my wonderful husband and we're actually going to give you guys a story of how we met since you know that we're married we are together we're living together and we're just building our own family so say hi mara hi mara no <laughs> say hi hi say hi to the people binalam guys oh come sa diwaka aswari na come sa diwaka yeah <laughs> Y'all heard that and that's on period. Yeah, so um, let's get this video started. But before we actually start talking, can you please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like this video if this is the kind of content you have signed up for because Cha, I'm here to drop content, couple content. And I really hope that you guys will enjoy it because a lot of effort goes into this chat. Anyway, so let's just get started. <laughs> Because you initiated things, I was not in the picture when you. Okay, well, I was in the you picture. You were in the picture. But it no, but, <laughs> but you intended. No, 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 no. But start. Okay. First things best. What happened? Okay, no, I think it was. Um. A week before, no. Week before what? A week yeah. before we met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was speaking to. Okay, I was speaking to Bonolo for like a month or so. Mm -hmm. I was telling Bonolo, Bonolo, you know what? Um, I know, I can feel it in my spirit. I know in my heart. I know in my mind. Mm -hmm. It's it's my time to get married. Mm -hmm. But hey, married to who? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And by the way, never offer you a pause. I said, nigga, someone. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what my it was you did well because I wouldn't be here. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So hey, it was tough. So yeah, I prayed. I prayed. I remember there's a guy called Armstrong from Charisma. Then we used to be in prayer. Mm -hmm. We literally prayed, prayed seriously. Say God, if we, if you really have called me for the ministry, as you say, I must marry right. Yeah. My mother too was in the prayers. My mother prayed. We prayed. So a week before we met, would you say we're desperate? No, desperate is not the right way. But you were ready. I was ready, and I missed somebody I've never met. And I was, I, I was sure I've never met this person, but I missed this person. It was more. There was more of a spirit. There was a spiritual comfort and assurance mm -hmm. that it was time. That it was time. But I wanna move too. <laughs> so, yeah. Then I speak. I was speaking to Bonolo, and whenever they say life girl, I would say Bonolo, what do you think? Bonolo would dismiss all of them. By the way, Bonolo is a very close friend of ours. <laughs> ours. I'm much closer to her now, by the way. But we can continue. Okay, so until I spoke to Vim, mm -hmm. a lady called Vim. Mm -hmm. She's now she's now married to Dr. Mclaval. Okay, Vela says it's not in the beauty of. The, she says the beauty is not in. What are the the exact words? Ah, where was I? She said the beauty is not in the searching. We do not search for a life. Mm -hmm. But the beauty is in the pursuing. We search God, but when we search God, looking for a wife, in God we find. But the searching makes it beautiful. Scripturally, it tallies with with the with the scripture um, when Jacob would meet his wife. Mm -hmm. He wasn't searching. Jacob knew number one when he left home that he wanted to get married there's a point where the scripture says um 
says what? It says when Jacob realized that Esau had married the the daughters of Ishmael and his fathers were not pleased. He told himself he will go marry from his father's place. So you know when it's time to get married. Yeah. Okay. Velo says the beauty is not in the searching, but the beauty is in the pursuing. Mm. You find while searching for God, or you you search God and find God, but you will locate her when you are in God. But yeah. the beauty is in the pursuing. pursuing. The guy found her. It was easy to find her in the well, but found you. Uh, but spent fourteen years working for her. <laughs> so yeah, even with me, it was like that. Uh, I didn't really search for you. I prayed a lot. Yeah. Okay. Can I just say my part first before you? Mm. My, my state of or oh, where I was basically. Um. <clears throat> I've always been that one person who was like, at the age of 23, I want to get married. And I remember even getting into varsity, I was like, I will not leave varsity without being married. Ne? And it's something that I had always said because I knew in my heart that it's something I really wanted. And for some, I, I could actually say it's something I know God had told me about. But, you know, and... Um... He got me in a space where as I was honestly not looking for anyone. But I told God that God, where I am now, I have healed, I have past traumas, I have past mistakes, but I'm a po I'm at a point where as I'm healing and whoever is going to come here better be my husband. Otherwise I'm not playing child. And there came some other guys came, I was like, No, not me. Like we were not compatible i was not even interested until he came and when he came i think he found me at a space where i'm like remember okay you will hear when the story goes on but i remember us talking for the first time like this is what i had wanted and it felt right i had prayed so much and i feel like this was the man that you know i was waiting for yeah okay yeah then we met, when was it? It was a Monday. Oh, I don't know the day. I remember the date. I don't know the day. I'm not Monday. sure if it was a Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But the first day before that. Mm -hmm. The first day before that. I'm not, I'm not sure of the day. We spoke to Venom. From there, you know what? I switched off. I switched off. I switched off. I remember. When things don't go well, sometimes we have a phone and I say, so yeah, I was I was at that space. There was mm -hmm. this I was just confused, but somehow there was this assurance. Mm -hmm. So I I closed all channels. I went to God fully mm. prepared to receive. Mm. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. Okay, we know that. No, I wanted to mention something that I didn't mention. Um, but I think I relate with you when you would say that you closed all channels and you were ready to surrender basically, ne? I remember we used to talk so much during that, that, that month, month of May 2020 and I remember there's this one jog that I had with my mom, like we jogged to this other mountain, it's, it's about 12 kilometers from my house, 12 kilometers to, huh? No, it's six, six, so basically we'll sum up to 12 kilometers and that one jog i went jogging but came back walking and my walking back i was i was literally in tears i was literally praying and i was like god i surrender everything i know i have many ones but if it's you if you don't want me to get married at the age that you want me to uh, at, at the age that i want to then it's fine but i think i'm at a point where i'm ready but i'm ready to submit to your goal more than anything and I remember I was even listening to someone's yes in, I think you found me at my best place like I was listening to someone's I was like especially it was very very healthy so that is why I believe you and I really connected our connection was much more divine than like your what do you call seeing a person getting attracted okay. <laughs> No. no yeah but you get me but you mm -hmm. can continue mm -hmm. okay then from there 
a day later, I don't, I don't remember the number of days. Yeah, I think it's a day. Yes, it was a Thursday night I spoke to Ben. Yeah, mm. now I remember. And then the following day, I, I opened my Facebook. Mm. There was this picture I was tagged, but I didn't realize I was tagged until late after we met. I mean, how yeah. long the tag was there for? Can I just say that? The, no, 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 no. I just want to talk about the dates. The date of that picture says September. It was saying September. Ne? It was saying May the previous year. Was it? Was that one May? Hmm. Okay, so it was the previous year. Yeah. Come May. So it was 2019 May. And then he saw the tag a year later, May 2020. Mm. And. Okay, so. This person tagged me with a plain background, just standing there. It was just me. me, and I'm the only person tagged. Okay. And I don't know you. Okay. Can I just make it clear? I promise you guys, I don't. Number one, I'm not active on Facebook. As I, I'm not. For point where as I tag people, I don't. So I don't. How would I even tag a person? I don't even know. I didn't. So bottom line is. Babe, I promise you, I didn't. <laughs> bottom line is, bottom line yeah, 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 is, yeah. God tagged you. This thing is different. Yeah, 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 yeah. God tagged you for me. Uh, uh. That was God. Okay, was okay. just making sure that okay. I can. Okay, then God tagged me. I then. <laughs> so I'm surprised. Hey, you don't take it. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna offend it. But when, this girl. But why would you be offended looking at a face like this, child? I'm going to hold <laughs> Holy. Oh. Ah, hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so. Mm -hmm. I, I, I click there to say, who's this person? Mm -hmm. About. Mm -hmm. I get about. Dance. Dance, dance, dance. Okay. I'm not as offended anymore, but I'm, off I'm still offended. But. Then I check, mm -hmm. I check about mm -hmm. Northern Academy, mm -hmm. same year as my younger brother at mm -hmm. Northern Academy. Mm -hmm. UL, same year as my brother, UL. Mm -hmm. LLB, to me, I said, okay, these people were classmates from high school, I even yeah. classmates at varsity. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, this person takes me. I've never been to Northern Academy. My younger brother was, so I called my younger brother. He too. And wow, if I want to the details tag and all that, no one tag a tag on Facebook. So who's that? Hey, the Rato Charity. Even even initially he did not know who, who I was talking about, and I explained. He says, "Oh, I know that person, but we are not that close." Mm -hmm. There's no way I would give that person the details. Yeah. I believed him. And mm -hmm. I say, okay, then tell me how is the person? It was ah! <laughs> It was Joe, 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 Joe. Yeah, man. They are inside there. Then I said, man. Don't. What if you had a crush on you? That's not a good thing to think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, Kremana, you know, you don't just advertise such for me. I'm not at this agent space where I date for fun anymore. Mm. He says, man, I'm your brother. I wouldn't mislead you. Yeah, he He finds me the number the following day. And you know what he said? Or the text was, Hi, Lerato. What? what Charity. Text? Yeah. He says, yeah, hi Lerato, via WhatsApp, like, can I please have your call number? It's like, who's this? Are Itu, Itu, who's Itu? Itu, your classmate, classmate from where? Northern Academy, Northern Academy? Like, I don't remember you. Then he's like, from UL, Kar Itu Mang I'm like, oh, but what for? I, I forgot his reason, but it was lousy. I was like, okay, sure. I gave him. Then he gave me the WhatsApp one. But by then, my phone was broken. My charger was broken. So mm -hmm. I could not have access to WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. I was using a smartphone. Mm -hmm. Then I tried, I tried, it didn't go through. 
and I went back to him. No, no, it's not working this time. Mm -hmm. He went and hustled for the corner. Came back, I think it was a Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, one of those two. On the 12th of May. Then I called. <laughs> hey. Mm, don't exaggerate. <laughs> hey, Babe, I'm not even going to say that. No, I didn't. No. Okay, this is how the call went. Hi, um, this is um, Ernest. Ernest Wood, my manager. Um, it's a guy. I don't know how I explained it. No, you tagged me on Facebook. So I wanted to know what that was about. You tagged me on a picture on Facebook. Yeah, you are lying. Are you the one who called and said you were it too? I've been receiving anonymous calls. Now you just want an excuse to talk to me and you say, um, I've tagged you. How do I tag you when I don't even know you? <laughs> first okay, impressions? Okay, okay, I was trying to be nice. So first impressions? You sounded horrible. <laughs> okay. okay. You sounded very mean. Okay. Okay. Karaoke says, you know, I was trying to be nice. Mm. One thing I had observed is that you have a, you do music, you also do YouTube and all those things. So mm -hmm. I thought maybe it was about that and I was trying to be nice. Mm -hmm. Now, no, if you wanted to, to check up or to check that, you would have commented on the picture and asked me, you know, but if I do that to an observer, it looks like you are desperate, you go around taking people. So I was trying to be nice and ask you politely. Mm. Yeah, I could have. You have inboxed me, mm -hmm. then I said, No, I did inbox you, you didn't respond. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't respond to my inbox. <laughs> okay, then, then we hung up <laughs> before that. You asked me, Where did you get my number? Okay, and I said, That doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> what you have to do, you have to calm down, go drink water. And Fish, drink. I remember that statement telling and me I need to go drink water. Who does? And go drink the juice. <laughs> then what drop? Then <laughs> then what drop? Then I went to the house. Mm -hmm. I was in the sleep, mm. my brother's place. I went to the house. Now I'm struggling. I have this small router. I'm trying to connect to the laptop. There's no network. I'm trying to go comment on that picture so that you can see. Mm -hmm. While I was busy, then you call. Because I went and che checked. Or what's happening? Who's this guy saying that I take? Then you call and. Yo, and like, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I actually did tell you. Because I felt I know. bad. Honestly. No, because you checked the profile and you realized that mm, more traffic like it is. Well, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, money. Oh, money. So far, come on. No, but you have to. Hey, uh, hey Steve. So, is that my ammo? <laughs> hey, negative. But we need to focus on our heart. We are humble. We are not scrap. We are not scrap. We are not stethoscope. So, are you saying I'm, I'm here with you because of your title? <laughs> I, I, how I don't know. How I don't you, know. Is that how you think? I I'm don't me? know. I don't know. I was humble. So I tell my sister-in-law, mm, this, this, this lady is all, all of a sudden very humble. Are you okay? But 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 I wanted eh so <laughs> no can I just say I, I checked to see Vele Vele Ore did I tag this person and I did now having checked his profile now you feel bad or you I was just rude to this guy and I have no idea and immediately after that I deleted the picture now I feel bad like why did I delete that picture because now it's memories but yeah so I went back I called back and like dude apparently I did and I apologize and I realized that I was being very mean to you, but I'm sorry. And when I checked your profile, yo, baby, no, 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 but the thought did come to your name, even though. But I wasn't after that. I believe you. Yeah. You, have, okay. you don't have a choice. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Then, then it came to that point where you are saying, so you just called to 
to find out why I tagged you. Because mm -hmm. no, I actually could have uh, untagged and deleted. Mm. So yeah, so why did why did you call? Mm. How did it happen? No, it, how did it? Mm. How did? No, I didn't. I, I'm, there are words mm. it's that made a lot of sense to my mind. Oh yeah, he said. Um, so you just called to to find out why I tagged you. I said yes, that is one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. Then you said, so what is the other reason? I said no. By saying one of the reasons, I'm not alleging that there's another reason. It could be oh, yeah, the I one and know. only reason. <laughs> actually remember, yeah. Yeah. Then mm -hmm. I said, no, I insist. Whatever words you said, that's you know, yeah, I insist you know? tell me. And I said, okay, it's fine. I did ask my brother E2 mm -hmm. about you. That like, who's this girl? And he said some very nice things about you. So I, wanted, were about interested. so I wanted to know who is this person. Mm -hmm. Then he was like, oh, okay, that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah. A whole me, imagine. Then we made an appointment to talk half past nine. Was it half past nine? Oh. Was it not half past seven? Oh. Okay. He wanted to go watch all soapies. <laughs> Then you were you were 15 minutes late. You started talking to Agata to tell. Wow, baby, remember all of that? Because half past nine, I called you. I was only busy talking to Agata. Okay. And we spoke. I was probably watching people's dishes and other people's houses, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear that. <laughs> so, so when we spoke, this is how the conversation went. Mm. Mm, okay, let's do proper introduction. Who are you? And all that. Then she started and, and explained, okay, I'm Larato, I'm this person, this person, this person. By the time she was done, just the intro, I was in tears. I was in tears to say, this is how I responded. You are everything I've ever prayed for. Every detail I've ever prayed for. And on this day, I know I've met my wife. There was this thing here, Shela, Shela, I have a one. Mm. Hey, she spoke and I prophesied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then. And then you did the same and you, you told me about you. And there was just this divine, divine movement in Yana. So, whereas, like, I'm done. I, I remember even telling Murio when uh, some days later, Hore, hey. I almost told my mom that I met my husband. It's not some days later. It was the following day, ne? The following day in the morning. Mm. Because by the time I was studying those things, the forex. So I, I slept around 4. I woke up about 12. Yeah. Then when I woke up, I pretended to go in the morning. And I, I sent you a long text. I, read, I was scared to call you early in the morning. I didn't want to look yeah. with you and all that. Then he said, oh, no, I was actually wondering. Yeah, but when you're gonna call. Then no. when you started talking, you said I almost told my mom that I just met my husband. Same morning. Guys, it was divine. I'm I'm telling you what I felt was not and one thing that we always say, Okore, the first month of us not even month, but the first few months of us meeting. We were not even lovey dovey. What we spoke about was talking about ministry, we were talking about business, we were talking about like Things that are beyond mostly family structure. Uh, yeah, but understand. we never had the flirting moment until we, we were intentional about it. You understand? And we only met more and than a month. We hadn't late. seen each other, by the way. We hadn't seen each other after all of that. We spoke. Uh, we started speaking at the top of May, and then we met on the thirteenth of July, a day before my birthday. And because on the fourteenth of July, it was my birthday, and it was his oath taking. So. Let me tell you what happened. So he wanted me to be. <laughs> so <laughs> excuse. Um, he was having his oath taken, whereas he would be like confirmed or get up and everything. So he's like, I want you here. Number one, I've been talking to this guy for about three months, Nyana, and how do I begin to tell my parents? May, June, July, okay, two months. <laughs> Two months, and I have to tell my parents over, hey, Mpetu, is an oath taking, wara, wara, wara. 
So I had to lie, child, that my friends are doing something for me for my birthday. You know, and I went to meet him, and he came. Can can level five year lockdown with no permit. Came, didn't have a car by then. He alofisha buti merokong. But mo, but from Pretoria to Adekhali to come and collect me to take me to Pretoria. So yeah, and then on the 14th we celebrated my birthday and celebrated his oath taking. So it was really really good. That's how we actually met and like the first time seeing each other was on the 13th and he couldn't believe it he didn't even want to hug me remember when, when i got into the car like approached the car and like, like no hug no, no nothing 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 until we sat down and then he looked at me and was like yeah was the one more yeah <laughs> i'm not lying <laughs> am i lying yeah, that's how it went. Then the following day, oath taking, my mother is there. Okay, when I met, when I met this lady, when I met her, ne, one of the first things I did was to call my mother and say, you know what? Things may look alike. And did I tell her at that time or what? Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm not really sure, but I told her eventually. Mm -hmm. That I met this lady. I really think for the first time in my life, my mother wanted to know. I met a woman, and who's that woman? And this this was her response. Apparently, I just spoke to her for a conversation. When I spoke to her, she somehow already knew. I don't know if my two younger brothers did what. I don't know. Mm. And she had even gone to your YouTube or whatever. Fun stalker! Even you! But anyway. Mm. And her response was my spirit at least. Mom! So, <laughs> they agreed to me being the wife. Imagine! Ah. So the day we met, taking my mother was there when we were there. And my mother demanded to see her. Hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not used to this. Yo, my heart was beating and she was very nice and she was very nice and oh, she was really nice I was like oh my goodness and you know what's 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 uh what's interesting was as i continued speaking to him i saw a lot of my dad in him a lot even to this day people people say how do you get married to your dad my brothers my sisters the brother, yo because they like the same in character so when you're speaking about your mother so she's simply saying her dad is very bright <laughs> and by the way she uh, my point was her ma yo, his mother <laughs> his mother and i apparently and she actually said this at our wedding but so apparently we look alike even in character and just have our things so this was divine man like now i think i also think this thing when you look like my mother came from my dad when he saw you because yeah, really? he he didn't want to admit that i have a better wife than his <laughs> so at least i got about one it's okay on the same level for sure <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah for sure that's why <laughs> and it's a pain living with yeah. us yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's how we met. And um, how many months later? No, I wanted to get married in August. Yeah, but the situation didn't allow. There were two things. I, I wanted to get married to a woman I met in May. I wanted to get married immediately. So I, ho I was hoping I would get a post mm -hmm. by July. Mm -hmm. So government staff were bad. Yes, last yeah. year they were bad. Mm -hmm. We could not get jobs. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. The other thing, my mother begged me to say, wait, you cannot ambush us. We want to celebrate your wedding. We want to be ready. Yeah. We want to be involved, all of us. Mm. Yeah. And then what crap also one chamarad. But anyway. Now before before I got a post. August! I got a local medic. Mm -hmm. You have to say finances, but okay. Okay. What? 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 
Okay. Yeah. I'm better than Inch. Inch, I don't know. No, I knew. I forgot. I'm okay. I forgot these things. But yeah, Minister of Finance, tell me. I am. But okay. anyway, how much was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, so she gave me that man. Then I took that man. Send this one. Find me a room in TEF. Buy a bed. I'm moving to TEF. I'm, re I'm relocating with immediate effect. Yeah, actually, yeah. I took my bag. Just one bag. Came that, to TEF. That's how I left Pretoria. You came to TEF. Because to that's where the lady was. And the lady is me. Yeah, and then we started, okay. We started talking, and then January, Magadi. Mm, January, go home. There's a lot. We've been playing music, so it's going to be bad. I think I'm trying to. Mm. Okay, but yeah, just try to. Okay, but I must try to. Okay, again. <laughs> okay. Then I came here. Some guy offered me some long-standing local. Mm -hmm. While I was there. Locum is um, jobs. Yes, locum. <laughs> then you will find out for yourself. Then I wanted to propose. Then I I, I found a way to get your brother's number. Oh, put it your no. My brother is a paramedic, ne? And I'm Funela. No, Ari. <laughs> Please send me your brother's number. I need a paramedic. A seven back. He's not even working in Bulukwani. My brother just sent me the number. Yeah. So I, I obeyed. I did. And and drop our number. So I wanted, I wanted to not offend the church, to not offend the family, mm -hmm. but still propose. Mm -hmm. So he went to your mother, and your parents, your parents were stubborn. Mm -hmm. So it was tough. I ended up not winning because parents were. We're not used to those to that approach, mm -hmm. so I ended up saving up and we did the cocoa thing and we did the lobola process from January. January. Then, so it was January the ninth. January the ninth from May. Yeah, from May, January, and then we got married on the second. Of oh, October. second of October. Yo, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, the second of October. 2021, I became Mrs. M. And my parents and her parents were saying we must do a blessing ceremony. ceremony. Yeah, we could have gotten married um, July, July around my birthday, but that didn't happen. We said no. So it's not happening. We will have uh, a proper wedding on the 2nd of October 2021, and now I'm officially Mrs. M. That's actually how we met. Him can like it. All right, good night, him. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> um, thank you for watching this video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. Did you enjoy talking? Did you enjoy appearing on the channel? They're going to see more of you, by the way, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are not subscribed, please do make sure you subscribe and join the family. From me, Lerato Mameja, I will see you in my next video. My okay, maybe not. I don't know if I'm going to be with anybody else. So, Keep content! And my, ah, man, I want to win. Bye! <laughs> but why are you not letting me win?